today we will study reproduction in scypha there is both asexual and sexual reproduction in scypha asexual reproduction occurs by the process of budding here a small outgrowth arises from the base of the scypha it acquires an aperture which is osculum at the tip this is a bud bud grows in size it remain it may remain attached to the parent body or may get detached and forms a new scypha so simply ek choti outgrowth arise hundi hai jinu bud kehne hain bud di tip te ek aperture banda va jis nu si osculum kehne hain eh jehdi bud da parent body naal judi vi reh sakdi hai te animal de size nu badhaundi hai or it may get detached and forms a new scypha then comes its sexual reproduction scypha is hermaphrodite that is a single organism produces both sperms and eggs but it undergoes cross fertilization the reason is here the eggs mature earlier than sperms the condition is known as protogyny as the eggs mature earlier than sperms so gametes of two different individuals fuse hence it undergoes cross fertilization now first of all we will study how ovum is formed the egg mother cell egg mother cell may be a coenocyte it may be any amebocyte the egg mother cell enters the radial canals it enters over here and it undergoes two mitosis producing four oocytes oocytes they again enter into mesenchyme that is they again enter into mesenchyme that is mesoglea and here the egg oocyte grows in size by feeding on other amebocytes and a fully grown oocyte undergoes meiosis and forms the ovum so egg mother cell la pehla radial canals de vich jehda ke coenocyte bhi ho sakda jaan koi bhi amebocyte ho janda us di pehla mitosis hundi hai us to oocyte bande hai oocyte mesoglea ch enter karke ohdi growth hundi hai it feeds on other amebocytes and then it undergoes meiosis to form the mature ovum so ovum is formed within the mesoglea and a mature ovum is almost a rounded structure having well defined nucleus and nucleolus in it so this is how egg is formed and egg is formed within the mesoglea now regarding the formation of sperm again the sperm mother cell sperm mother cell may be a coenocyte for if a coenocyte acts as the sperm mother cell it will lose its flagellum and it will withdraw its collar ye apna flagellum lose karuga te collar nu andar khich luga so again sperm mother cell may be a coenocyte it gets covered by a cover cell cover cell is, is nothing else it is some other amebocyte so sperm mother cell gets covered by a cover cell the whole structure is known as sperm nest within this sperm nest spermatogonium or sperm mother cell it undergoes mitosis forming spermatocytes and then spermatocytes they undergo meiosis forming sperms the structure of mature sperm is it has three parts this is the head which is divisible into elongated nucleus and a rounded acrosome a very short middle piece and a long tail so sperms they are formed in this manner now ultimately how fertilization occurs now egg was lying in the mesenchyme now the sperm nest ruptures as the sperm nest ruptures naturally sperms they are released into the radial canals from radial canals through prosopyle and sorry through apopyle and excrement canal and gastric ostium spongocele and osculum these sperms they leave the parent scypha and the sperms of some other animal some other mature animal that will enter into through enter into the body of scypha through incoming water current incoming water current will enter through the dermal ostia enter into increment canal through prosopyle enters into radial canals so sperms the exchange hundi hai ek organism de sperm ah jehde oh bahar chale gaye kyunki sperm tonu pata de mature later than eggs so ek organism de sperm te egg nahi fuse kar sakde so sperms they are ex- exchanged sperms of one animal they leave the body through outgoing water current and sperms of some other animal they enter into the body of scypha through incoming water current so now when these sperms they enter the radial canals then what happens a coenocyte now this was the egg that was lying in the mesenchyme and this is the coenocyte layer now this sperm when it enters into radial canal it penetrates the coenocyte 
the coenocyte which is penetrated by the sperm is known as sperm transit cell. This coenocyte which is penetrated by the sperm, it loses its flagellum and its collar and it becomes amoeboid in shape. Egg develops a small you can say depression to receive this sperm transit cell and then the sperm transit cell transfers the sperm into the egg. So simply sperm a jade, jado radial canals de vich chale jande ya, egg a jada mesenchyme ch piyawa. So sperm mesenchyme ch kime paunch de ya, sperm a jade, o coenocyte layer, radial canals they are lined by coenocyte. So they penetrate a coenocyte, coenocyte ch enter kar jande ya, jade coenocyte ch enter kar de ya, usnu sperm transit cell kan de ya, or sperm transit cell apna flagellum te collar loose kar da, amoeboid ban janda, now egg develops a depression and it receives this sperm transit cell. Ultimately sperm enters into egg and a zygote is formed. The zygote is surrounded by a large number of amoebocytes. Now actually this structure is also formed in the mesoglia. So zygote is surrounded by a large number of amoebocytes and this complete structure is known as the brood capsule. So early development of zygote will occur within the brood capsule. That's all. We will continue in next video.